Welcome to the WKLP News with Carla Dempsey. My name is Carla Dempsey on WKLP TV News. With me tonight is my guest Lizzie coming all the way from California. Hey Carla, how is the weather where you are? It's fine Lizzie, how is the weather on the West Coast? I'm in Southern California. It's hot. It's always hot in Southern California. If there is one thing that everyone knows about Southern California it is that it is hot. That and there is a whole load of water and surfboards. Oh and the Beach Boys come from here. Good 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 vibrations. We're heading now to the North Pole for an interview with Santa Claus. Hey Santa. Hey Carla. Ho ho bloody ho and all that crap. Why are you asking me about the weather at the North Pole? I have no idea what the weather is like up there. I'm not stupid, I only travel there on December the 24th. I leave all my elves up there the rest of the year to freeze their pointy ears off and get all the work done. It's bloody cold up there. If you aren't at the North Pole Santa do you mind telling me where you are? I'm in California visiting my niece Lizzie. I'm living it up at the Hotel California. Is that a lovely place? Yes, it's a lovely place. You've got a lovely face. Thank you, Santa. Can you tell me anything else about the Hotel California? Well, there's plenty of room at the Hotel California. Any time of year. Any time of year? Yes, you can find it here. We're heading over to Nebraska now for an interview with our correspondent there, Rod Zombie, who has news about the rumored zombie apocalypse. Hey, this is Rod Zombie in Nebraska. What's the weather like where you are, Carla? It's fine here, Rod and apparently it's hot in Southern California and I'm told that there is plenty of room in a particular hotel there. Can you tell us about the rumored zombie apocalypse? What zombie apocalypse, Carla? I have been here for over a month and I have not been able to find any evidence of a zombie apocalypse and anyone that tells you anything different is lying to you. There are no zombies here and there has not been an apocalypse. We are short of food up here though. You are? I'm sure the network would be happy to send you a food package. What kind of food do you like, Rod? Well, Carl, I eat anything really, so long as it's brains. I like boiled brains, grilled brains, southern fried brains and I am rather partial to deep fried brains with a side order of fries. I can eat my brains raw. Rare, medium rare or well done. It doesn't matter to me. So long as they are brains I will eat them. We will get some sent up to you immediately. Is there any type of brains that you don't like? Well there are certain types of brain that I will eat if I have to but don't like. Politicians brains tend to be a little slimy and none of them have any taste. I never eat lawyers brains. Because the only time I did eat one his brother sued me for ten million dollars. Supermodels brains taste like peanuts and you can eat a whole packet of them as a snack and still be hungry enough to eat a full meal of brain risotto later. Well that is good to know Rod. Is there any type of brains that you would particularly like us to send you? Well I would be very grateful if you could send me the brains of several virgins. They are a rare delicacy here. I have searched high and low for them but so far I haven't found any. I was told by a well-informed local reporter that it's almost impossible to find a virgin in Nebraska. He said it's hypothetically possible that they could exist but he doesn't expect to see one in his lifetime. We're going over to our correspondent on Mars, Mr. iRobot. Hello Carla, this is Mr. iRobot at the SpaceX City News Studio. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. Robot. How are you? I'm great, Carla. I'm nearing the end of my mission to Mars, and I'm looking forward to coming back to Earth and having a holiday. Do you know any good hotels with rooms free? Well, I have heard that there is plenty of room at the Hotel California, and apparently it's a lovely place. That's good to know, Carla. I will contact Elon and ask him to book me a room. Has anything interesting happened on Mars recently? Well, Carla, there are a lot of interesting things going on here. The Tesla factory here has just released a new model of Mars rover called the Series Z and accelerates from 0 to 460 miles an hour in under 3 seconds. We've just released a new constellation of over 1,000 communications satellites. 
Last week the 1832nd Starship arrived, and another 12 are expected to reach Mars next week. The human population here is rapidly expanding, and we currently have well over a thousand Martian citizens happily going about their mundane lives and thanking God they aren't on Earth anymore. Is there anything that you particularly want to do when you get back to Earth, Mr. Robot? Well, the first thing I am going to do is to order some new batteries from Amazon. You can't get Amazon packages here. One of my friends tried and he was given an expected delivery date of 42 years, 7 months and 12 days. Why would it take that long to deliver a package, Mr. Robot? Well, they gave the delivery contract to Blue Origin. I'm told that Blue Origin are saying that they hope to reach low Earth orbit in a couple of years. Things aren't going well for them. It's only 10 years overdue. Having said that, NASA has just given them $14 billion to build the first colony on Alpha Centauri, and another $2 billion to bribe Republican politicians in Washington, D.C. to raise the amount of money assigned to the space program. Why are they having so much trouble getting into orbit, Mr. Robot? It's the engine they're having a problem with. They can't seem to get it working. It's overdue by 10 years now, and because of that, Blue Origin can't get into orbit. In my humble opinion, they should have gotten a rig to build it. If they can't deliver parcels to Mars, how do you get your parcels from home? Mr. Robot. Well, we get weekly delivery from one of the FedEx fleet of delivery rockets. They ship to both stations, the moon and to Mars. They designed their of rockets and have had their fleet up and running for over years. For our last story of the night. We are going to a mystery location to talk to one of our oldest viewers, Mrs. Crazy Cat Lady. How are you doing, Mrs. Cat Lady? What did you say? Talk louder, please. My ears aren't as good as they used to be. Mrs. Cat Lady, I know for a fact that there is nothing wrong with your hearing. I would be grateful if you would stop lying to me. Oh, all right, I will, but you can't blame an old lady for trying to get some sympathy. You might think that Mrs. Kitch Lady, but I couldn't possibly comment. I recognize that quote, have you been watching House of Cards? I can either confirm or deny that allegation. Tell me Mrs. Kitch Lady. Why did you want to appear on the news tonight? Well Carla, it might not seem important to you but it's important to me. I have lost my poor little catchables and I want to ask your viewers for their help to get him back. Is that all Mrs. Cat Lady? Yes, Carla. He's hiding under your hat. I can see him. Oh no, he isn't. Oh yes, he is. Are you telling me that my cat is the cat in the hat? I'm not saying that he is the cat in the hat. I am saying that he is a cat in the hat. What's the difference? If I say that your cat is the cat in the hat, I could leave the network open to possible litigation for copyright infringement. If I say that he is a cat in the hat, I won't. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen. In my humble opinion, lawyers that bring copyright infringement and intellectual property violation cases are some of the most evil people in the world. I know, I used to be such a lawyer. So what you are saying is that you wanted to appear on TV so that you could sue the network. Okay, I admit it. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I'm an old lady and I can't afford my rent. Could you tell your viewers that I have set up a GoFundMe to pay for my rent? Either that or could you ask them whether they might consider investing in my cryptocurrency? Granny coin. No. We will not do that. That is the end of tonight's news. This is Carla Dempsey signing off. Good evening and good night and don't let the bed bugs bite.